Today I'm riding a mountain which has great significance in the racing world. It's home to the second oldest auto race in America. It climbs to 14,115 feet in elevation. To drive the road is absolutely terrifying and awe-inspiring. <laughs> systems up here for people to enjoy so a lot of the traffic is just that people have stopped and they're riding mountain bikes around on these trails up here getting into some rain now they said it's gonna be increasingly stormy as we climb if it's raining right now I, I imagine it might be snowing at the peak lots of slow vehicle turnout lanes nobody uses them I guess that one truck used it and that's about it. Pretty steep climb, it's pretty cool. Big old switchbacks. I don't think I've ever seen switchbacks this steep on a paved road before. starts a little bit slow as you pass through the gift shop there at the midway range of the mountain and once you get about halfway up the mountain it just goes straight up with extremely tight switchbacks and I really would not recommend driving a an RV or pulling a trailer up this mountain. hot brakes. That's a crazy view right there. Holy smokes. Seven people have died during the competition on the mountain, four of which were motorcycle racers, three car racers. Riding a motorcycle up it wasn't horrible, it just was a little bit scary because the cars in front of me would panic brake mid-corner and they would almost come to a stop which really messed up my balance and that's really tough on such a steep switchback. Pikes Peak is the highest summit of the southern front range of the Rocky Mountains in North America. At 14,115 feet in elevation, the air gets really thin, headaches start to come on, people get dizzy, and the sightseeing is 100% worth it.
That's so crazy. Never seen anything like this mountain. Something you would hike. I mean, it doesn't make sense that there's a road up here. It's so crazy. trail except for it's on a mountain and it's paved definitely don't want to go off the side here they've got plenty of guardrails where they need them people shouldn't go off the side on the straightaways but you never know quickly.
Pikes Peak, there is a gift shop up there next to a cafe and also a display with a lot of history. And you can walk around that building for a good hour or two hours, though most people don't want to stay up there too long because of the headaches and lightheadedness that come with uh, high elevation. So I was no exception to that. And I headed back down the mountain within probably about an hour to an hour and a half. 